Let's go. Hey, turn up. My joint. Classic. If you don't already know this record, you should listen to it because it is the truth. Houdini, freaks come out at night. Come out at night. Hey, the freaks come out at night. <laughs> oh my God, I fucking love this song, man. This is probably my favorite, like, like the first early rap record that I love. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I've said this in like a previous video, but like, you know, I like the stuff from like back in the day, obviously, like, you know, Jimmy Spicer, Dollar Bill, y'all, all that shit, right? Um, but this to me was the first time I would say that I liked the whole thing, you know, because in those previous songs, even the message, some of those records, like I like things in them or I like, you know, they were dope, but they're not songs that I play like just on my own all the time, you know, but this shit, you know, I got this on my phone. I'm in the car. Freeze come out at night. Like, I really love this record. You know, um, I feel like everything about rap at that particular point in time came together and made like a superb record. But why am I talking about this? Hip hop is 50, right? So it's 50. And uh, honestly, man, it's looking pretty flabby. Unfortunately, um, I think, you know, the genre needs a real boost, man. It's never been whacker. I mean, I, I told you all this back. I mean, shit, 2017, maybe. One of my early videos that hip hop was gonna get worse every year. I feel like I've, I'm correct. I mean, I'm not just saying this because it's me, or maybe maybe there's a bias on my part, but I do think that hip hop has fallen off big time. You know, like I think to myself, where you know January 2023, what are we looking forward to? Who are the artists that are that are going to do something exciting? I don't anyone, man. I listened to Gloss Up, who was um, part of the Glorilla camp. Um, I listened to her album. That was trash. Respect to her, but um, none of those beats hit. She ain't really say nothing. Um, you know, it's boring. It's like, um, what else? I tried to listen to Yachty. Yachty had that song Poland, which is trash. Um, <laughs> and uh, he had a new song that just came out, Say Something, which was garbage. And again, you know... People will say, oh, it's, you know, I think people are now realizing that it has nothing to do with age, right? Because people were using, a lot of these younger artists were using that to come up, you know? That trolling, oh, it's about age so that they can get the young niggas on their side. But even young kids now are starting to really see, damn, this shit garbage. Because again, man, if you dope, you dope. It doesn't matter what age you are. You know what I'm saying? If you're ahead, if you really know rap, you really know what's, you know, what's really dope, you'll recognize dope right away. How many times have I told y'all, man? I recognize a lot of the shit. Pierre, Metro. I recognize they were dope before. A lot of young kids even figured out that they were the guys. To be honest with you. 808, 808 Mellow. Like, I was, you know... I'm on it because I listen to enough rap. I know when, you know... And I... I'm a fan of this shit. So it's easy for me to tell, to be honest with you, who's doing something interesting and who isn't. Right? Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that rap is just... And I hate to say it, but it, it really is very much stagnant. Um, and it's stagnant not just in 2023. It was stagnant in 2022. It was stagnant in 2010. Let's be honest here. You know, again, like, um, I mean, obviously there are periods where one artist will come out with something really creative and then that'll get watered down. And, you know, and then some one artist, you know, they're blips to me. You know, Lil B was a blip. You know what I'm saying? He came and then Rocky came and I was, a, you know, he changed the game, changed the sound of the game. Uh, and then you had like Playboy Cardi and, you know, then he, you know, fizzled out a little bit and Pop Smoke, but he died. So there, there are obviously people, but it's not like the whole game was really firing in all cylinders. You guys, I, in a way, I, I, I hate to say it, but I feel like the younger generation don't really know what that's about. Because for someone like myself who started listening to hip hop real heavy in 97... There was a lot of shit that was dope, man. It wasn't just... We weren't just relying on one artist to save rap or whatever. It's, it just felt like people were firing on all cylinders. You were getting stuff, you know... Biggie had just dropped some crazy shit. Mace had just dropped some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? If you were... It's a Gangstar. Gangstar just dropped something. Nas, right? Like, there's... Jay was coming through. Like, DMX was around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... It Method Man and Red Man. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
<laughs> it was just so much shit. And then, of course, you're looking at people, you know, like the Missies. And there was just a lot of stuff, man. It's like everybody was firing. You know, the, the, the big acts, they were just firing on all cylinders. That's when you know a game is healthy. When there's more than one person doing amazing creative shit, right? And there's multiple people doing this stuff. When it's just one person, you get your Playboy Cardi, you get your Pierre, you know, that comes out the gate. I mean, that doesn't really tell you that the game is great. It tells you that, honestly, the game is on life support. And, you know, every one, now and then, one person, Pop Smoke, come out the woodwork to give it a little bit more juice. But, again, where are the people who are looking at what Pop Smoke has done and said, you know what? You fucking did something unique. I love it. Let me do something unique. No. Instead, we're getting Bronx Drill, which is trash, okay? <laughs> which is some retread bullshit. And of course, Ice Spice is kind of doing the same thing. No one, you know, in that space is being like, okay, Pop Smoke did this. I'm going to take it to the next level. It's, oh, let's, you know, let's wait for somebody to come out with some new shit. We'll hate on it at first because, you know, that's what we are, right? Um, you know, someone comes out with something new. Usually there's hate off the rip. Like, how dare he just, you know, how dare he come out or she come out with something fresh. And then after that, it's, oh, but this is actually catching on. I need to copy that so I can come up. <laughs> uh, this is how I, you know, this is what ruins rap, man. So, unfortunately, I can't say I have any new records uh, of this generation to share in the last month or whatever. Um, <laughs> the game is just, it. it's just on life support, homie. It is what it is, man. Anyway. More videos coming, man. We're going to do this. I appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Peace and love.